We are about uh, 2.2 to 2.3 given the market condition and uh, we do have around 400 million cash in uh, for us to use and uh, going forward we uh, not only need to grow bottom line but most importantly given the current uh, stage of China's overall healthcare development uh, top line growth is also very important. Tell us what the priority then in terms of new products, mm -hmm. innovation, mm -hmm. and R&D mm -hmm. spending? Mm -hmm. Well, for us, we are innovative uh, drug developers focusing really to uh, bring either best in class or first in class from global perspective to patients with unmet medical needs. Having said so, I think uh, there are you know, we can do internal discovery and also in the meantime we always look out what is the ones even better or uh, earlier than us. So whichever one hits the mark, well, that's how we're going to bring them to the patients first. Samantha, bring us up to speed with, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Zujela, which is used in the treatment for ovarian cancer. Where do you stand in terms of development and clinical trials, and at what point is this going to become commercially available? Mm -hmm. Well, you brought up this uh, commercial uh, uh, commercial ability on this product. I just want to be very pleased to announce to you uh, this product, along with our uh, GBM product, already launched to uh, Hong Kong and Macau market for the last two quarters, especially for Jujula. It's a you know, passing class opportunity, we are able to take 66% of the market share. And uh, of course, the, we are a franchise uh, when we develop a drug. It's not just one indication, it's a franchise approach. Uh, recently in ESMO meeting, and uh, took, just took place in Barcelona, there's three very, very compelling data came, <coughs> came out very positively for the company. One is for Zazula. Instead of second line, we now also can move to first line. And uh, moving to first line, compared to our competitors, we got positive results, not only for single uh, monotherapy, but also <coughs> this drug works, works beautifully well in the subpopulation groups. That means you actually don't need to do a combo that means you don't have to do a biomarker analysis, which is uh, even from pharmacoeconomic perspective is really beneficial. 